Hello everyone, welcome to the Henry Ford Academy. My name is Satnam Singh and welcome also to our brand new fully electric Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now this program today is all about checking fluid levels. Now it's inevitable that maybe during the PDI process or even on annual service work, you are probably going to be asked to check coolant strength, battery voltage and things like that. So let's take a look how we're going to access these items. Okay, so I've pulled the lever on the passenger side twice and we're fully open. What we need to do now is to remove this big main trim that goes across the vehicle. There's no screws or any torques. It's secured down by poppers. So getting your fingers in nice and steady, we're going to pull it forward and here we go. Okay, we've got the trim off and you'll notice that some of the poppers have come out with the trim, which is fantastic, but a few of them have got left behind. So we'll deal with them later. But what we can see straight away is the brake fluid and the brake fluid is standard dot four brake fluid. So we can clearly check the level. Now next to the brake fluid, you can see the coolant reservoir. Now this coolant reservoir holds the coolant for the high voltage battery, uh, the SOBDM, which is a control module which uh, plays a role when the high voltage battery is being charged and also the DC to DC converter. So we can clearly check the level through the plastic and if we need to check the concentration and the strength it's just a case of removing the cap uh, and, and checking it that way. What we need to do now is to remove this trim on the driver's side. Now again, there are no torque bits or any screws, it's secured down by poppers and some metal clips. So let's get our fingers underneath and pull that up. Right, so I've taken the trim off and as before, some of the poppers have come out nice and clearly and some of them have got left behind. So we'll sort them out later. But what we can clearly see here is another coolant reservoir. Now this coolant reservoir holds the coolant for the inverters and also the traction motors. Now the coolant is the same as the other coolant I showed earlier. It's the same concentration and the same type of coolant. And again, we can clearly see the level by looking at the side here. And if we need to check the concentration, it's just a question of popping the cap off. Right, what we need to do now is to move this trim on the passenger side. Again, no torque speaks or any screws. Let's just pop it open nice and carefully, as you can see me doing here. Right, located here is our 12 volt battery. Now it's a bit difficult to get to the terminals as you can clearly see. Uh, so what Ford have done is they've fitted a negative earth point which you can see here and underneath this cover is a positive port. So if you need to do a battery voltage check it's just, just, just go across these ports and if you need to use your Medtronics to check battery condition, you just use the same ports, but always program into the Medtronics that you're not going directly onto the battery. Now it's really, really important that before you do a battery health check on the low voltage battery, it must be fully charged. Now the best way to fully charge the battery is by using a plug-in charger. So all of our dealers have got our plug-in charger. So if we plug in, we will fully charge the high voltage battery, but also the low voltage battery as well. And then we proceed with our Medtronics check. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just pop these trims out using a suitable tool. So there's one here, and now I've removed it, put them back onto um, uh, the trim panels that we removed, and then just fit the trim panels in the reverse order. Okay, brilliant. They're all fitted nice and neatly as if they were never removed. Um, and I really hope that you found this program useful. Thank you for watching.